Right, this video I'll try to show you how to create LaTeX-like documents using Word. Now, just to briefly explain, LaTeX is a, um, a program to create beautiful math documents. It's used a lot at universities, but it's probably out of reach for most uh, normal students. Now, I'm going to show you how to create almost co uh, as good-looking documents uh, using this method. Now the first thing you want to do is go and uh, install the add-on word mat. If you go to edueapp.com, it's free and you just go download that. Once you've done that, you get a new item on your ribbon. And, um, and also if you go and create a new document, go click here, new document, you have the op option to choose the LaTeX word template. So let's do that. And it opens up a document which just already has some text in it and um, and show you what sort of a LaTeX document looks like. And so in this case I'll just delete all this because uh, I'll show you how to do it on your own. So uh, probably you'd want to use LaTeX for like uh, maybe larger projects so maybe you want to uh, put in contents page and just put in a new page. So now I have a contents page. You can also create um, like subsections. And new sections. So restart this so it starts with one. And you can, in, you can you put in citations, uh, like for instance, here I want to put in a citation. Oh, it goes reference, insert a citation. I don't have any sources just yet, so I'll just add a new one. Put in the author's title. Okay. Now again, if I want to reference that same author somewhere else, I'll just go up here. You can see now it's already saved that, so I can just click here again, and it's cited twice. And of course, and at the end of the document you want to put in your uh, bibliography. So I'll just I put in choose the type of um, bibliography here. This one, i.e. 2006, is the one which is standard in LaTeX. So th this will only appear if you've installed WordPad. So, there you go. As <clears throat> then something about equations. Uh, of course, LaTeX is um, is very good for doing equations, and when you install WordMat, you get fonts that that look like the ones you get when when doing LaTeX. Uh, just click Alt plus M plus to insert a new math field. <coughs> if you click Alt M twice, you can see you get a number so that you can reference that later, maybe. Um, but if you want to do an equation that you reference later, you might want to do something like this. Go up here into the word mat, where it says uh, New Equation. And you can insert a numbered equation for reference. And so it's going to ask me for a name of it. So I'm just going to call it quadratic, maybe. And then I'll put in um, quadratic equation. So, and then I can reference that later. Go up again into WordMat and new equation, and then insert reference to equation. Okay, I only have one at this point, so I'm just going to choose that. 
Okay, and there you go. It will reference that equation. If I later go up, insert a new numbered equation, you can see it will automatically then still reference that same equation. So if you want to go into uh, using that, you might want to check out some of the other options you get in here in the manual. Yes. Um, okay. Uh, by default, it, uh, the equations are numbered to the right. If you go into settings here and um, see where we have that uh, numbered equations, you can also choose to have it on the left side, and you can choose to have three different numbering styles. Okay. And you can also have it automatically insert a reference here. Yes, that's pretty much it. It's how to make beautiful math documents using Word and WordMap.